Nigerian American professor Farouk Berugi has said it is laughable to say that President Bola Tinubu's ticking of Black America on his Chicago State University application form showed that he has dual citizenship. Berugi, an activist and author, in his article on Saturday, responded to one of the assertions by Atiku Abuaka's lawyer, Kalu Kalu, that the Chicago State University admission application form has a claim that the owner of that document is a black American. And in the documents, Bola Ahmed Sinumbu submitted to INEC, he denied having dual citizenship, which means it doesn't belong to him. The U.S. scholar noted that in the mid-1970s, when Sinumbu applied to students to study at CSU, what was now black or African American on Official forms in America was simply black American, particularly in historically black universities like the CSU. Berugi said, as I have agreed, I have stressed repeatedly, I have no partisan emotional investment in the political brawl between President Sinumbu and former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, or in who is and is not President of Nigeria. My only partisan affinity is with the truth or to re-echo iconic Washington Post reporter Carl Bernstein, the best obtainable version of the truth. As an American citizen, a graduate of two American universities and a professor in one, I can tell the reader three major things articles Nigeria lawyers and his supporters on social media and in some openly partisan news sites are getting wrong. The major one is the idea that because Tinumbu presented a certificate called a diploma in America to INEC that that didn't emanate from the Chicago State University, whose registrar affirmed under oath that Tinumbu graduated from there, he has committed forgery in the legal sense of the term. That thinking betrays ignorance of the American university system and results from people using their limited Nigerian lessons to reflect or refract an American phenomenon that is beyond their experiment, experiential reality. Certificates are not used as legal proof of graduation from any school in America and therefore can't be forged in the legal sense of the term. Only transcripts can be used as legal documents to validate the genuineness of claims to have attended institutions, including secondary schools, Atinumbu presented a counterfeit transcript to support his claim of graduating from Chicago State University when he didn't, or merely to claim a higher GP than he actually earned, even when he graduated from there. That would have been forgery in the legal sense of the term, which is understood to mean criminal falsification by making or altering an instrument with intent to defraud. I admit, though, that Tinumbu was careless. Can you imagine? See this one. He's just going back and forth. I'm just even, I was just trying to even see where he's going to land. You admit that he's careless. So is there anything like carelessness or ignorance in law? He is in Nigeria where certificates have a different meaning and uh, violence from the United States. He should have submitted Chicago State University's official diploma to INEC. So what is this guy talking about? But what he did does not by even the most favorite stretch of conspiratorial fantasy rise to the level of a Sadisu Buhari type criminal forgery. The second major misconception of America came from a secret lawyer by the name of Kalu Kalu. He said at a news conference on October 5th that the Chicago State University admission application form has a claim that the owner of that document is a black American and the document Bola Metinubu submitted to INEC, he denied having dual citizenship, which means it doesn't belong to him. I'm sorry, but I couldn't help myself from letting out a burst of deep, loud, hearty laughter when I read that it's pure hilarious ignorance. You see, America has an enduring, irresistible impulse to thousand no mice humanity into discrete racial categories. Every official form here requests you to identify your race. The modern options are white, black, or 
Africa America, America India or Alaska Native, Asian and Native Hawaii or other Pacific Islander. In the mid 1970s, when Tinubu applied to study as a CSU, what is now Black or African American on official forms in America was simply Black American, particularly in historically Black universities like a CSU. The C, the U.S. Census or the U.S. Census Bureau has historically defined Black or African American as a person having origins in any of the Black racial groups of Africa. Black America was the only category that closely applied to Tinubu, so he chose it because the form instructed him to check one bus. Checking the Black American bus didn't mean he called himself a Black African American or that he impersonated a Black American. It only meant he identified his race as Black American, no more, no less. The other options in the form were barely uh, decipherable, but I could pick out American Indian or Alaska native, something that looks like Spanish surname, American, another that looks like a uh, Russian, American, and so on. Although the form gave the option for other as uh, other explain, most Africans here typically choose Black American as the closest description of their race. I beg this guy, no know what they talk. After he done, before he was telling us that oh, then he knew that a Tinubu graduated from that school. Later, when the OC came out, he now admitted that yes, Tinubu made a a simple hero or something, something like that. But he forged the certificates because the school said they did not present the certificates or whatever diploma they are calling it. So, I neck now these guys trying to do damage control again. I'm sure very soon now. Uh, they are going to employ this guy to be working for APC in the America because I don't even know where he's even going to. But you can't deceive the people. Not be only when I get a, not be only when I get educated person. Not be only when I get America. We see our other Nigerians who are in America, so you cannot come and bamboozle us. Hey, you are an American citizen. Hey, you studied. Uh, you went to two universities. Oh, you did this and this and that. Oh, you are a professor. Forget, professor, my foot now today. Professor, my food to Perugi. Uh, uh, of course, now Nigerians are, are like, okay, what is this man talking about? This guy is a U.S. professor. That is to say, he has stayed in the U.S. for long, but tribalism refused to live his life. Well, Perugi, try harder to uncover the truth. <laughs> Oga, come back to Nigeria and enjoy what we are enjoying. I think he's just wasting his money on his last time. Really? You think he's wasting his money? Ha! Yeah. They, they will say they're wasting money. You, have you eaten this money? Because they say he's wasting his money. They killed Education Nigeria. Now, they have taken it to international, at international level and it's bad image on the country. And those intending to work abroad with their CV today, it favors the few. But tomorrow, it will haunt our credibility in every field. Mm. Thank God, Obi is on his own. <laughs> this one don't chop. You don't chop con. You're not far away. Don't chop con. Well, let them continue to lie. <laughs> so, guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.